In other news also, the Lancaster County Sheriff's Office says they haven't seen many crashes so far. That's good news. Channel 8's Matthew Midlider did a ride along with a deputy today to see what the roads were like. Today I took a ride with Deputy Travis Schroer, who says while the Sheriff's Office didn't see a lot of crashes, they were prepared to help. So we've been fortunate so far today. The call volume's been fairly low, uh, and hopefully it'll stay that way. While we were out, the freezing rain really picked up, and several roads started to get slick. Schroer says the more rural roads outside the city can be especially dangerous, as they don't see as much traffic and aren't always treated with anti-ice chemicals. The road crews do a great job with getting, you know, salt and sand and whatnot on them, but with a little bit less traffic, and if it's windy or whatnot, the roads tend to get maybe a little more slick out there than they do in the city where there's more traffic on them. Deputy Schroer and I stopped by Denton, where much of the roads were covered in snow and sleet. He said if you slide off the road or get stuck, the authorities will always try to help out and get you somewhere safe. We'll usually mark their vehicles so we're not getting called on it all the time and they're not sending out rural rescue. Because um, as people drive by, they see a car in the ditch, they'll typically call rural rescue and we don't want those guys going out in this any more than they have to. With wind and freezing rain sticking to power lines, he says there's a possibility they could be damaged or broken, which can make driving even more dangerous. Schroer said if you're ever driving in this type of weather and it gets bad enough, don't be afraid to stop and wait it out or find a safe place to stay. By pushing it sometimes, you're, it makes it hard for us because then uh, as first responders, whether it's law enforcement or the fire departments, you know, if, if you're going to get stuck, we're probably going to get stuck too. And then we can't get to you or other people that may need our help. Schroer says while law enforcement is ready to help out, he advises that everyone just stay home if you can and to be extra cautious on the road if you can't. If you're in a all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive vehicle, it's not going to help you. With the ice, it just, you just drive slow and give yourself a lot of room in between cars and uh, give yourself plenty of room to stop when you're coming up to intersections. But main thing is stay home if you can. Reporting in Lincoln, Matthew Mitleider, Channel 8 News. And again, authorities want to remind everyone to be safe out there if you are doing any type of driving.